What it is, guys? HM613 here, back with more Spire of the Dragon. In the last episode, we ended up completing Dry, not Dry Canyon, uh, Cliff Town, and Night Flight. And now we are off to a very long level in the game, uh, Ice Cabin. And, which makes no sense since we're like, you know, in a desert and there's a snow level. That makes no sense, Asaniac. But still, great game. I love you. You're awesome. No, I. I say you're awesome a lot to a lot of people. I don't know why. I just I just like being nice so much. Like a lot of people say I'm like really nice. Not to brag, of course. And there's some bats here. They, look, they don't really look like bats. They look like bears with wings. But let's free Ulrich. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <clears throat> like me. Before charging those large enemies. Yes, we all know Spyro is small. So don't, you know, I would say ridicule him for it. I don't know. A demise him for it, I would say. Don't demise him for it. Kill this Nork. So many gems everywhere. Uh, Norks that throw snowballs right here. Ice Cabin is pretty long for a level that's near the beginning of the game. Hopefully I'll be able to beat this and uh, beat the boss. Because after this, I'm going to head over to the boss level. Which is uh, Dr. Shannon. Which he looks nothing like a doctor. Still, I... Now, you're probably wondering where's the key. It is right over there. So I'm just going to glide over to it right now. And guess what? I got some backtracking I got to do. Whoa, whoa, grab the key. I thought I thought Sparks grabbed the key. Yeah. Apparently, you can't grab the key. Oh, great. How do I get back now? I'll find a way. If Drake Bell can find a way, then I can find... Oh, wait. Here it is. Here's the way back. We got some backtracking to do, great. We freed Andor. Thank you for releasing me. No problem. No, we're going backwards just because I wanted to grab the key. Alright, we need these things. Alright. Are those Norks trying to throw snowballs at us too? I'm not sure. Now, uh, be cautious, there are some Norks, like, right here with armor, you, now, a dragon's good, there was supposed to be a dragon we were supposed to free, who was supposed to explain how to beat these enemies, we cannot flame them, or our charge attacks won't kill them either, they are wearing armor, and since they're on ice, it is very slippery, so, we just charge into them, and they slip off the cliff, how easy is that? Yeah, here, here's where the dragon, this is the dragon I was talking about. Todor. Spyro, some big norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Exactly. That's what I said. Alright. You're probably wondering how many dragons are... Okay, whoa, I forgot to mention, these, to get the gems on here, hit the lampposts. Uh, I wouldn't say they're lampposts, really, pretty much. Uh, really, what to call them. Ow. Alright. But anyways, let's get the chest. Get our chest. Man, I wish I could get more stuff like this. 
Last year, we got a lot of snow for Christmas. I, I only love it when it snows in December. That's that's the only month I want to snow. Other than that, it can get disgusting. Because when it rains, it can get all mushy and stuff. I do not like that at all. I love December snow. I love Christmas snow. This reminds me of Frosty the Snowman. I'm not gonna make any jokes about Frosty the Snowman because I don't feel like it. Oh, whoa, whoa. He's wearing, he's wearing ski shoes. That's cool. But those shoes, the ski shoes gotta go. Oh my god, I got hit. That's not even funny. You slide off. Yep. There's purple water down there, so be careful. Is that grape juice? Oh yeah, that's grape juice. Let's go down there and like drink it, like you know, mm, let's kill ourselves by going down there. No, let's not do that. Let's just not kill ourselves. Let's just get all the gems and dragons, and along with the dragon eggs. Okay. I forgot how to get up there again, but I think. Uh, thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? You know what? What's weird? Some these dragons are saying that Spyro has like this this destiny that's bigger than what we're really trying to do. Like bigger than like trying to free all the dragons. And, okay, let's go to that later. Like they're saying Spyro's got this destiny, but. That's the for why, like, just to uh, be nasty Nork. Oh, there's more than one in these worlds. But actually, there is, because up here, I have no idea. See all those things? I have no idea how to get up there. At all. I'm not even bar trying, because that's just suicide. But yeah, they, the dragons say Spyro's got a bigger destiny than what this game's purpose. Like, now the game's purpose, like, the object of this game is. Like, alright, uh, hopefully these are. Right. Oh no! I'm missing a lot, of, a lot of gems. Let's let me free the rest. Let me free this dragon first, and then I'll get. I'll cut it until I we free the Asher. Really. Thank you for releasing me. No problem, Grandpa. I'm gonna cut ahead until I find the other gems. Right, I'm missing gems right here. Alright, and ah, oh, I'm missing one. Uh, it's kind of until I find the last one. I just found the last one. It was right under this this thing right here. But anyways, I'm gonna exit this level, and I believe yes, I have enough time to um um get the boss, which is Doctor Shannon. So let's head over there. Now there's a type of cliff getting to um, to a gem. It's gonna be really hard, actually. So guess you people are gonna have to watch me die a lot. That sounds like fun. Now these big mamas right here, they're gonna whack these little uh, those little norks right over there. And they're gonna be charging at you, so you gotta charge at them. And if uh, you miss them, they'll just run off the cliff like a uh, Koopa from Mario. But, but see, but uh, don't worry, you still get the gem. Yeah. Yeah, this is loud. I'm gonna turn it down. Yeah. I think my dad's taking a nap right now. Yeah, 
this level's kind of shorter than uh, Toasty. But the boss is pretty huge. I bet. Oh, God. Ow. Yeah, they just run off the cliff like Koopa is cool. But not like. I meant the green shell Koopa, it's not the red ones. Because they'll just uh, walk back and forth. The green ones will just walk forward and end up dying. But anyways, back to Dr. Shannon. He's, he's through this gate, but I want to get all the gems first. And here's a treasure chest. I meant a key for a treasure chest. Get this big armor right here. Alright, this is where um, the biggest, not, not the biggest, I meant the hardest part to get the gem. So, it's right over there, and you have to go. Oh. Okay, wow. Alright. I have to make this at the very end level. And let's make it, 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 make it. I made it, yep. First try. First try. That was awesome. Alright. Now, over to here, because there's some gems right Okay, how did I miss that? Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to glide right there, from there. Let me just try one more time. Uh, Dr. Shannon is pretty big. I bet he's, he's probably bigger than... Uh... You just... How do you get up there? How do you get up there? What? No, I don't want to go up there. I want to try and see if I... Dr. Shan's probably bigger than, uh, Nasty Nork, I would say. Yeah, I think you got, yeah, you do. He's right there. Yeah, see? Good big guy. He's probably bigger than Nasty Nork, I would say. Or actually, there's another boss later, I bet he's bigger. Yeah, he's like a giant robot. That yeah, looks free. Trundo. This guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing. He should watch his back. Yep, that's right. His weakness is his back. Whenever he turns around from you, or his back. Alright, just let me get on there so I can fight him. He's just gonna be basically running to you, hit, trying to hit you with his little thing right here. And, uh, his butt. And he's just spanking it as he's, like, flying away, man. That's weird. Don't s Quit spanking at me unless you're trying to move me. Oh, how did that happen? That's not even fair. Yeah, you're just pointing at me. Like... Uh, do a little, a little Elvis pointing right over there. And you just did what uh, Papa Papa from Crash Bandicoot did right there. Right before I just killed you. That was a... That was a beast move right there. I'm a beast kid. I wonder why I say beast so much. I mean, SML says beast a lot. Alright. Hopefully this is the rest of the treasure. Yep, it is. Uh, I'm just gonna... Wait, let me just make sure. Yep. So with that, I'm gonna, I just defeated Dr. Shaman. And I'm enough right here. So if you guys want to see more of my videos, go to my channel, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace!